Hello, friends. Hey, I got a follow-up for John Young's uh, Tuesday tip from last week about his uh, thermal shutdown on his computer, uh, and that is typically caused by the thermal grease drying out. How this pertains to us in another way is with our powered speakers. If you have a powered speaker that works for a while and then shuts down, it's more than likely because the Class D chip is protecting itself and it has thermal shutdown. So it'll shut itself down when it cools off, powers back up again. I will show you what a Class D amplifier looks like. This is one right here. You will see the heat, fin, uh, heat sig fins right here. And that's what dissipates the heat. On the bottom here, you're going to see there are two screws that hold this on. Here it is with the heat sink off. I put a yellow arrow of tape on there pointing to the chip. Look at that. It's smaller than my fingernail, but it puts out a lot of power. And here we go. This is the heat sink I took off. And on the back, you'll see you'll see the white paste on there. And there's also white paste there on the chip itself. If, if you're out of warranty, you can go ahead and, and give this a try. What you do is just wipe those off uh, with either an alcohol uh, swab that you have. I have a spray bottle I use because I do a lot of this. I just fixed one of these for a friend uh, this past week. Got to spray that on and use lint, lint free cloth. <coughs> Excuse me. And then also spray the board off. Go over that with a artist brush. Get everything done there. And you can, wherever you want to get it, Parts Express, uh, Amazon, whatever your choice is. You, it comes in like a little syringe or a small tube. It's the, the white thermal grease. And you put that on there, put your heat sink back on, and that could possibly solve your problems. Uh, I've had very good success with that from powered speakers to computers to Xboxes and PlayStation 3s. It's the same principle. So if, if you're going to uh, do this, if this uh, doesn't work for you or your speaker doesn't work at all what you can do is what's called a bucket swap but don't do any of this unless your speaker is out of warranty if you're still in warranty contact uh, the uh, vendor that you bought it from and see how they want to proceed but if you're out of uh, out of warranty you have nothing to lose by trying this if it's a thermal shutdown if it doesn't work at all then you can do what's called bucket swap. Uh, if you have a known good speaker, put that bucket in the other one. All it is is a series of eight or 10 screws around the outside and the back. That's where your inputs are and your knobs and so forth and the controls. There'll be, once you get those screws off and you take that bucket out, you're gonna have three, maybe four wires with Molex connectors you just disconnect, swap it out, verify that your drivers are good, then you know, hey, it's the bucket. The manufacturers will have these buckets. Some of them will will do uh, reconditioned ones, much like an auto parts store where you would have a core charge on, let's say, a starter and you need a reconditioned starter. Some will just sell you a new one, or you may prefer to say, just give me a new bucket. Whatever your choice is, you'll be able to do that. Plug in your Molex connectors, put your bucket back on with the gasket, put the screws in, and you're off to the races. So that's my uh, follow-up tip. Practice and enjoy, and I hope you don't have this problem. Take care now.